Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I am so excited today. Uh, we have a new update that just came out uh, last night, and it does something that I've been wanting us to be able to do for about three years. And uh, so I'm, I'm really, really excited. So here you can see the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. This is the one, the OneNote Dark preset, which is fantastic. You can do all sorts of these normal type of things um, using a two button stylus from Renacer. This is a Raphael 520. And so I can select and delete and uh, also use the uh, eraser button, which is moved up here to the front. So that's pretty cool, right? And great improvement if you're using OneNote. All right, so here is the new features. Drum roll and here it is. Ta -da! I'm so happy because now we can put keyboard shortcuts, I mean, touch buttons to locations. So this is a brand new feature. Like I said, it came out this morning and it is so useful. I've been wanting this, like I said, for three years and it's finally out. So what these are is these are clicking up here. You can see those moving up here as I press the different, the different buttons. And I, this makes me so happy because there are so many different things that we can do so much faster in so many programs with this addition. So uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. This is not the simplest um, implementation, but it's a whole lot simpler than anything else out there. And it's, and it's not hard. It just has a, uh, got a couple steps to it. Uh, one thing to point out is this is clicking this location, not this button. That means that if I go like this and I click, is clicking down here, it's not clicking up here. So keep that in mind. Um, that's a pretty easy thing to remember. You just need to uh, make sure that you're, you stay in the same um, aspect ratio and layout. So what I recommend doing, by the way, is setting these based off of your left one. And I'll put this uh, preset available so you guys can just take this and then add just the data for the location. Okay, so how do you do that? All right, so you can install the pen tool. Like I said, there's other ways to do this, but we tried to make this as simple as possible. You can use the free trial or you can use the paid version. Either one doesn't matter. Um, set this to pixel location and color picker. And then we've mapped keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcuts uh, for pixel location are Alt X and for color picker are Alt C. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So we'll close that. And I'm using a keyboard because I think it's, it's just simply easier. And right now um, there's a bug in uh, the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro X. There's a, a bug that's making the uh, pen tool not work and the pen spaz. All right, so I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna do Alt X and this will copy down the location. You'll see coordinates copied, coordinates co copied, coordinates copied. And um, up here, for those who are not familiar with pixel coordinates, this is zero, zero. Uh, right down here is uh, the closest to the full resolution of your entire screen. And it's low at the top on the right number, low on the left, on the left side, um, high on the right all the way. So like if your screen width is 2700 something, it's going to be 2700 all the way to the right. And the very, very bottom, it's going to be full, the full um, uh, height. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're just going to click coordinates here. And then we're going to go into the layout editor. And now when we have a button, you can see click location is an option. And we also added move to location. 
So both of these new features, this is move but not click, and this is click. So both of those you can use to do all sorts of cool things uh, for programs that do not have hockey support, like OneNote on certain things. Uh, all right, that's it. That's super simple. You can get the update uh, in the app, just going to about and choose uh, check for update. Oh, right here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, check for update. So, yes, check for update. And uh, that'll help you get the other one. I, I will also update the uh, install guide. I'll have the link to the install guide in the description. Uh, so hopefully you guys found this uh, exciting, as I did, as well as uh, really useful for the type of work and the type of creative work that you do. All right, that's it. Uh, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.